the Did game. you find that you were hyper focused on every activity that you were part of throughout the day while you were in the monastery? At first, no, because I was never taught how to concentrate. Hmm. I didn't learn concentration until I joined a monastery. So it wasn't until I went there that I learned. But it was easier to, to learn it there because I was surrounded by monks who can concentrate. And then I was also taught how to. But now I, I feel I don't have any problem with concentration. But not because I'm a master at it or I'm, I'm excellent at it. It's just that I've been practicing it for so many years and I've created those pathways. I've created patterns in my subconscious that trains my awareness to be on one thing at a time. What, what does that coaching look like? Like if you were coaching me, I'm the distracted kid. I come into the monastery. You're my guru. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a hard time concentrating. What are some of the steps you're taking me with to, to help me with that? I would say the first thing is I would teach you how the mind works. We wouldn't even learn how to concentrate. We need, I need you to really understand how the mind works. Mm. Once you know the mechanics of it, then you can actually start to control it. But if you don't know the mechanics of how the mind works, then it becomes really difficult. And I don't know anything about the brain. It, the mind is what our training is. So if you ask me about the prefrontal cortex or the whatever, I, like, I have no idea what you're talking mm -hmm. about. If you ask me about the mind, that's my training, mm. right? So understanding the mind is so crucial. So even like in, I have a course that's coming out and a book that's coming out purely on concentration. I, the first big chunk of the book is about the mind, understanding awareness and the mind, really getting people to understand that. Because mm. if you don't understand that, then you can't concentrate. Right.